Are we filming? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. And after picking up so many parcels, there you go. Picking up so many parcels, I, uh, I'm just going to finish my tea. Well, not finish, I'm just going to start it. Because I, I need the... I need the strength. This is ridiculous. I have so many. I'm just going to do them all in one hit. Um, first of all, this one, which is... Let me show you what I've bought here. Um, these are... These are one of my favourite small uh, small notebooks. Um, I tend to... I mean, I've, I've had this for a while, and uh, I'm using this as a notebook and a journal and now testing ink. It's just a jack of all trades, but the paper, the paper is absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. Very, very, very little bleed through. Virtually no bleed through apart from one or two instances. My strongest, my strongest, wettest nibs. Um, but you learn, you learn. And the thing is, this paper is so forgiving Clairefontaine paper, 90 GSM, made in France, very consistent, very lovely. So, what did I buy? Five this time. Very nice. I, I paid £1.80 for these. Uh, there's a link in the description, as always. Um, one of the things you, you will find with these... Um, Clairefontaine notebooks is the price goes up and down, up and down. Uh, so I would say, I mean, I I jumped in because these were one pound eighty. I know they have been, they have been cheaper and they have been a lot more expensive. So you've just got to bide your time. But uh, just use the link. Uh, I'll be very grateful for that. And uh, I can thoroughly recommend these. Out of all the notebooks I have. I use these a lot. So one thing that I have noticed, though, one thing I've noticed, let me just adjust that. There we go. Um, is if you look, uh, I'll do it on this camera. So if you look here, you can see that these are a little bit wavy. There's no packaging. There's no cellophane. They just come like this, and they're just supplied in the, in this case, the Amazon uh, paper or cardboard wrapper. And... It's not Amazon's fault, but the locker where these were dropped off, and I prefer a locker because it means that I don't have a uh, white van man banging on my door at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I prefer to pick them up at my convenience because it's only a mile down the road. Um, is the fact that the locker is quite exposed and there's there's moisture in the air, and so the, the lockers aren't hermetically sealed. You've got a little bit of damp flowing through the packages. And I think in this particular case, I actually picked these up uh, a couple of days ago and I've just been waiting for some other stuff. So these, as you, you can see, can't you? There's definitely a wave there. Now, my policy, my philosophy is, and I do a lot of philosophy on this channel, is that by the, t by the time I've started using one of these, it doesn't matter whether it has a few uh, wrinkles or creases. I mean, I can, I can do this, and I can do this. And it has some creases there, which will be there for maybe ever, you know. Um, but it really doesn't matter because it is, as I'm inclined to say, a working tool. Next parcel. I've got a lot of parcels. So... What is in here? What is in here? Okay, let's have a let's have a little look. I think I'm going to have to use a pair of scissors for this. Um, I cannot remember exactly what I bought, but we're going to find out. Ah, nice. Now this. Those of you who have heard me talking about. Parker Inc. Uh, have, uh, have know that this this is something that that I have fond memories of as a school kid at school fifty years ago and more. Um, and I was chatting to a channel member about this, um, and as a result of that, I mean I've got, I've got some Parker Blue, but this is blue black, and I'm looking forward to. 
I'm looking forward to uh, using this. Can you see it has the Royal Warrant by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, sadly departed. Uh, and also um, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, who has recently been promoted. And I wish him well with his with his medical situation. I hope it, I hope it, hope it works well for him. But there we go. Another bottle to add to the collection, and I will add this, and then I will ink a one of my test pens, and then it will it will form part of my testing in a series of notebooks, as you know that I'm about to embark upon. Okay, next. Next one. Uh, can I cut it here? Yes, I can. Um, I'm doing it this way because my address is on the is on the other side. On the other side, I, I can't help noticing that there's something there. I'm, I'm going to have to zoom in and blank that because my my <laughs> I don't I don't want to I don't want you to know where I live. Um, but uh, here we go. So what is in here? It's obviously a notebook. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Now, here is another notebook. And this notebook was recommended to me by a good friend of mine. Uh, and he loves it. And I couldn't resist. I could not resist buying this book because, because, look at this. In fact, I'm going to zoom in and show you. There we go. Look at that. Can you see the GSM on that? 150 GSM. Uh, 192 premium pages. Divide that in half. Uh, is 96, I believe. 96. So it's, it's typical, but let me, let me zoom out again. Look at the thickness of it. Look at the thickness of that compared to a, let's, let's take a standard moleskin that has 240 pages compared to 192 and you can see that the difference is pretty substantial so this otagami i'm moving my camera here this otagami notebook will uh, be something I, I'm, i've been really looking forward to this really really looking forward to this um time will tell but i i one of the things I'm doing, as you know, is testing inks, and I've been a little bit. Uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm a pragmatist when it comes to thin paper using inks, uh, fountain pen inks. We we know the score, don't we? It doesn't always work in the way that we wish it did. You know, um, there are some papers out there that are fabulously thin and fab fabulously good with fountain pen paper, but that's not. A case where it's not the case with moleskin notebooks, so uh, we will see. But Otagami, I will put a link in the uh, in 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 the description. Uh, I um, the reason why why did I buy a green one is simply because I wanted a lined version. I wanted a lined version uh, for the purposes of testing. Uh, I blow hot and cold. I mean, I like, I like plain paper and, uh, a dot grid and gridded paper and lined paper. But it just so happens that I wanted this in lined format and this lime green was quite cheap, probably because it's lime green and, and the, the, you know, it's dynamic pricing, isn't it? Is that what they call it? Dynamic pricing? Um, the black version of this was over £20 and this was, uh, how much was it? Twenty? No, twelve ninety. Twelve. Twelve pounds. So, uh, so I've got a mate rounds. We're having some tea uh, after a success, a successful raid at TK Maxx. But more about that in another video. Very excited. And also, I did some filming in my local John Lewis store uh, with their Filofax display there, and that's that. That was uh, very interesting as well so that will be forming part of a new video so uh what do they say stay tuned watch this space whatever do do what you feel is right and i'm sure that you will be fine so uh finally finally and this is this feels really really heavy let me let me zoom out a bit uh oh there we go so 
this is this is this is this looks like the full Monty here. Um, I'm just just being slightly awkward here because I don't want to reveal my address. Uh, but um, there's a, there's a lot going on here. Oh my goodness me! So um, you're getting your money's worth in this mail time, that's for sure. So uh, first of all, a pack of five. Uh, Uniball Eye micro, Micros. Why did I buy these? I bought these, which will be... Uh, I'm going to test them in another video, but I bought these because they were recommended to me by another YouTuber who swears by them. In fact, he said, even though he is a pen expert with pens costing many, many hundreds of pounds, he said if he could have just one pen, one pen and scrap the his entire collection this is the pen he would have and so that whetted my appetite i'm chomping at the bit to find out because i okay i've never ever used the uniball before because i i tend to use a pilot either a pilot g2 or a v7 but i am excited to find out what all the fuss is about so if someone recommends something to me uh i uh, and they are a serious player in this field then then it's good enough for me. So that will be part of the test. Um, and then we have... Oh, there's a, lot, there's a lot going on here. So out of the box, first of all, is... The first step is to take one. And what, what it is, this is, a, this is a black and red A5, A5 uh, notebook. Um, it's got this optic... Oxford Optic paper, which I have used, I have used myself, and it is. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna undo it because I'm so excited about this. Um, it is uh, one of the best papers you can buy. Um, I'm not sure I like all this "never give up" stuff and these mottos. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. Uh, well. I have started, and so I'm going to finish. Um, the beginning is always today, Mary Shelley. Fair enough. But this paper, the reason why I bought this as part of my testing regime of the to build up my my collection of notebooks, primarily for testing fountain pen inks, but other 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 writing implements too, is because this has. A very good reputation and I used to buy these from staples that are no longer available um, as bricks and mortar stores in uh, they are in the US but not in the UK uh, we lost our staples store some years ago but I'm anxious to test that and so you know what I bought one next out of the box is is now I have used these before so I know I know how good they are, so I'm just going to just... The reason why I'm just cutting them here is because the the uh, wrapper is ridiculously effective. And there's I've got the, the big lights on in here today. Well, I always do, because it's otherwise it's, it's just too dark to film. Because there's no there's no lap, there's no natural light in the studio whatsoever. Okay, so these are ruled notebooks made by their branded Retasy, a hundred GSM. Now, those of you who have used who have who have seen my video called the book, this is what I've used in A6 format. Uh, do we have one here? Yeah, we have one in A6, so there we go. So I'm a big fan of the A6 model, but consistently, in my opinion, these Retity books, which are pretty, pretty good with Filofax, sorry, not Filofax, it's with fountain pens, 100 GSM, they're nice, very, very good quality, not perfect, not perfect. Uh, I mean, there are very few papers that are, but this is a good compromise i would say from a, a point of view of performance on one hand and cost on the other these at the moment here in the uk uh, they may be available elsewhere but certainly here in the uk the retacy notebook it is 
I wouldn't say head and shoulders above everything else because, you know, it depends. I mean, when you buy a book, it must be right for you. And in the grand scheme of things, if one of these is going to last you a year, it doesn't really matter whether this is £10 or £20, but I believe I, I paid even less than that for, for these. Um, so, again, uh, link in the description. Please use it. Thank you. Uh, they come highly recommended. Um, and finally, yep, that's the only one, at least today, but I've got some more on order. You'll be pleased to hear. Uh, is this. Now, this is a bit of a, for me, a statistical outlier, but I'm keen to try it. So let me explain why, the, why this is yellow. Again, I picked a yellow one because the yellow one just happened to be significantly cheaper than the black one. It is... It is a uh, it it is something that that we have to get used to in this day and age dynamic pricing. So again, uh, click the link and then choose your color. Uh, pricing goes up and down as, as we know. So so uh, if um, just to just to reiterate, and I've explained this before, but what I what I tend to do is. I will, if you find a link that doesn't work, then let me know in the comments and then I will change that for all the links in every video uh, so that uh, so that, that it's, the, those links are as up-to-date and valid as as possible. So that's my intention. And, and to be honest, I, I, I occasionally check as well. And if I notice that something is not available anymore, then I will, then I will, find another link for you so that so that hopefully uh um it aids your buying experience is that what they call it buying experience i'm happy with that okay so this is it says talons that's the brand name talons art creation guarantee quality since 1899 i don't know anything about this brand whether it's been bought or sold or whether it's still in the same uh in the same manufacturing ballpark um historically speaking but as you can see here there's a little bit of damage let me zoom in and show you the damage uh there we go so you can see there's a bit of a dent there but that's it doesn't make much difference there is a a mark there from a biro or maybe even a fountain pen i don't know i wonder i mean this was sealed but i just wonder whether i just wonder whether let me just zoom out again yeah, I just whether, wonder whether this is a return that's been put into stock. You never, never know. Made in China. Um, it has a Netherlands PO box address, administrative address. Uh, maybe this is the Dutch equivalent of a moleskin. I, I don't know. But um, it does seem to have some sort of pedigree. Uh, but from a point of view of the... Um, the paper weight. If you look at this, there we go. I'm I'm moving everything about. This is the this is the magic number. 140 gsm. It's acid free, so hopefully it will last a long time. But this is a sketchbook, ostensibly a sketchbook. It's only got, uh, I say only 80 sheets. Interestingly, virtually every other. Uh, book manufacturer, notebook manufacturer will, will describe this as 160 pages rather than 80 sheets. And you have to you make the mental deduction to divide by two. Uh, pages always sounds more ambitious and, and, and more generous, doesn't it? But the bottom line is this has got 80 sheets, 108, 100, 160 pages, but 80 sheets. So well done for talons for, for, just just saying it how it is. Um, this is a sketchbook, but the reason I bought it was because I want to know, I want to know whether the 140 GSM paper will take a fountain pen really, really well. Uh, so again, this is going to be subject to some testing, but I'd, I mean, I, I, I use a lot of paper, as you know, but I'm not going to, I, when I when I buy a book like this, um, it's going to last me a long time. And so 
it doesn't really matter that much whether it's got 80 sheets or in the case of a moleskin uh this this moleskin is slightly thinner and yet it has 240 pages or 120 sheets and it's it's sort of uh slightly 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 thinner isn't it uh moleskin on the left talents on the right but i am as you know i'm a, i you know i accept the limitations of moleskins and similar notebooks with fairly fairly thin paper although there are thin papers out there that, that take a fountain pen well as we know uh but i am thinking maybe using sketchbooks as journals if you like with a, with so that i i am free from that that fear of uh, bleed through or shadow or ghosting or whatever you'd like to call it i am interested to find out whether this works but there we go so that's the end of the mail time it's been a really really long one 21 minutes i thought it'd only be like five or ten minutes but that's that's just the way of it um but uh until my next um until my next video oh by the way if you're interested in what i'm going to do with all these notebooks that i've been accumulating and acquiring over the last uh days and weeks uh some of them i've had i've just started a rodia today that i've had for 10 years and i've only just start i've only just opened it so you know uh i'm not going to be i'm not going to be running out of paper anytime soon but i will be I will be giving you my philosophy about about notebooks and what I'm going to be doing with them, but that's subject to another video. Uh, but until my next video, thanks very much for watching, and goodbye. Right, I'm going to have my cup of tea now. I think that went well, oh, didn't it? That one. Yeah, I noticed that. That bugged me when you opened it, when I saw that. Excellent. Okay.